A drug company with a location in Oceanside says it has more proof that its drug remdesivir is helping the most severe COVID patients. Our ABC tennis reporter Cassie Carlisle tells us doctors are optimistic but don't think this is a miracle drug. People are still dying. I almost died. Friday, Troy Colley celebrates three months out of the hospital as a survivor of COVID-19, but he's still living with the remnants of that nightmare. He lost 12 days of his life in a coma. The first memory I have is waking up with my hand strapped to the gurney with the tube down my throat. Colley credits doctors, nurses, and a drug initially created for Ebola called remdesivir for saving his life. But experts in the medical field are weary. It's not a magic bullet. Dr. Stephen Hedrick, a molecular biology professor at UC San Diego, explains the drug just slows down the virus. It's going to decrease this, the severity of the symptoms of a viral infection, but it doesn't necessarily make you well overnight. That's because while the drug works to stop the virus from replicating, COVID-19 can counter it. Coronaviruses, um, almost uniquely among RNA viruses, have something called an error correction uh, capability. New data released by Gilead, the company that produces remdesivir, states a 62% reduction in risk of death in most severely ill patients, and 74% of remdesivir-treated patients recovered by day 14. But survivors like Kali are not back to 100%. I get uh, easily winded if I overexert myself. Um, occasionally, I'll just get dizzy for no reason. Um, I have foot pain when I wake up. Dr. Hedrick says the drug is a jumping off point for a drug more suited to the virus or a vaccine. In the meantime, both doctors and survivors are asking that we all wear our masks. If we all work together, we can get on the other side of this pandemic. Cassie Carlisle, ABC 10 News. Gilead says it is ramping up supplies, but also cautions that uh, rigorous cl clinical trials were needed to confirm the latest data.